I told you already, the cabinet is off limits. But you still have to come inside to see me do it now, do you? Please stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this is new. We're not doing a special edition of the cabinet rant. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Messenger Ninja. I mean, the game's called the Messenger, but I'm a ninja. So I don't care. I don't have a care in the freaking world. Boom, boom. Ow, I took damage. I don't care. <laughs> oh man, I waited to play this game. I waited so long to play this game again. Because I've been playing a lot of Tomb Raider. I mean, a lot. Well, three episodes. But then, I played some Destiny in the meantime. Because I had to. And then, well, I had to come on back to this. What am I supposed to do here? Uh, grapple! Yes! Save myself! Nope! Ha! Gosh, gotcha, you bitch! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there's a secret there. But I'm not able to get it. Because I cannot... Uh, I don't have the ability to do it, probably. Ha! Ah, double. Double kill! Now this area is gonna be a little bit tricky because I've already seen ledges that are just annoying to get to. Oh, wait a minute. We have to, <laughs> we have to talk to this guy now. <laughs> I don't need anything. Let's have a chat. What do you want to chat about? I'm finally near the mountain summit. Looks like my adventure is about to come to an end. Clearly they haven't watched the trailer. Well, the joke's on him. I actually saw the trailer before getting the game, so I know what's up. <laughs> this is not the end. Not by a long shot. <laughs> Stop glitching out, ninja. No man, pardon? Never mind. Hey, it's cold and slippery out there. Be careful. What do you want? The chat about. Do they have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a village settled in a land of ice and snow. Food was scarce, but not as much as heat. Their elders spoke of a lush grove, safe, abundant, and with com comfortable weather to boot. The only problem was, the grove lay on the other side of a permanent hailstorm, which would take weeks to cross. Oh man, that sounds awful. And, and what? On what planet does that even work? One day, a brave couple left their young boy behind to attend what the village called the Trek. They would scout all the way to the grove and confirm its existence, then come back to the village and lead everyone to a better life. Like all who attempted the Trek before them, they sadly and predictably never came back. Over the following decades, that boy grew up with only one goal in his mind to take on the track himself and find his parents alive at the grove or dead in the ice. Figuring they may have simply been ill prepared, he trained every day until he was five years older than his parents were when they left for the track, then set off for his own attempt. The hailstorm's first bite wasn't as bad as he thought it would be, but the ice cold soil so slowly worked its way into his bones. After days of walking through the storm without realizing it was all just a metaphor playing in his troubled young adult mind, he stumbled upon a no pun intended chilling sight. His parents frozen solid in a block of freaking ice! Really? I mean, I was expecting something like they made it to the other side, and they were just too happy about coming back? Broken leg? Something? The shock was just too strong. He remained there, cursing, pondering, and cursing again, until the cold took him to become part of the ice block. The end. What? What do you mean, what? No moral? Or at least a proper ending? Some type stories can be harsh. It might just be the very message they mean to convey about life. You need to think about that. Think about what it transpired and find your own takeaways. There are no wrong answers as long as they ring true to you. 
Maybe, but this one really felt like a pointless story. And it just might be the case that for you it was. Nutty. Or you could consider the implications of, of our adventure. Our adventurer being five years older than his parents when he found him. Can you imagine gazing upon those who were your protectors and mentors, realizing they are actually younger than you? Your bearers of truth, the wise ones, those aspire to be like you. Those aspire to be like you. Our oh, reality, indeed. You thought they knew it all, had it all figured out. Then they were censored and filled with purpose. Yet there you stand, beholding the one pillar you ever took for granted and used for stability. Physically crystallized, yet mentally shattered before your eyes. Had they really found inner peace already when you knew them? Meaning you're the one who missed the mark. Or were they simply excellent actors? Hmm. Put for thought, huh? Yes, that's enough. That's freaking enough, remember. This is all subjective. I shared a I share but one angle. What do you wanna I don't wanna chat about anything. You've made me depressed. Alright? I thought the story was gonna be good. I mean something that takes a character to the end of his journey, because we're about to finish that, although we know we aren't, because the trailer said portal to the future. Yeah, uh so Mwah. Boo for the story. It was a boring story this time. <laughs> Sorry guys. If you watched all of it, well, congratulations, you actually deserve a medal. If you didn't, well, you didn't miss too much. Uh oh. I knew it. Oh way whoa 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 <laughs> yeah. That guy's annoying and I'm almost dead because of him. I need to be careful. Yes. Yes. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, hurry up. I need help, guys. I need help. Oh. I seriously am badly need help. What's up there? Ha! Huh. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, I missed it. Jump. Oh, uh, yeah. No. What the? <laughs> no. I forgot that those guys take two hits. The first paycheck always feels good, but at this point I mostly see the work. Well, shut up, it wasn't my fault I died so many- well, it was. So many times in that level. Because the game wouldn't give me the secret to eternal life. Isn't there a way to cheat the system? Oh, there actually was! A way to cheat the system! But I need to get those well first. Right. Hmm. Let me get the lantern first. Boom. 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 And yes, we're up. <laughs> I cheated the system. Ha! Huh. And I'm full health now. Oh yeah, that's that's a good Hi! Yay yay! Again, I fell down. I hate this segment! Yeah, that high. Mm. Finally, you, my man, are annoying. Now don't fall down. That'll be even more so. Okay, save point. Glare. It's a go. Stealth It's a glad in time. Uh oh. Yes. Ha. 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 Got it. Oh, I love doing that. <laughs> I love doing this. Just cuts to them like butter. Oh. Ha. <laughs> That's so fun to do. Freaking ninja! Yeah. Ninja! Oh. He didn't die. Huh, <laughs> that looks convenient for him. Fell down. Didn't do nothing. Ow. Oh, my friend, I'm gonna die. Oh. Can I? No, I cannot. Can I break him? No, I cannot. 
What if I... Doesn't work. What if I glide? Ah, it doesn't work either. It doesn't work! I can't. I might just be able to get another ability later on in the game. But that thing doesn't work. No, don't slide into the spikes. Yay! Hey! You nearly got me off guard there! <laughs> Dumbass! I got, I got you! Uh oh. Whoops. I need some help. Uh, hey dude, do you have anything more to say? Uh, upgrade. I cannot upgrade any anything. No. Can I have a cabinet? Please don't touch me. Alright. 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 All right. <laughs> Why can I touch your cabinet? Uh, no. <laughs> Secret. A shard. I might just be able to upgrade something later. I need 550 and then a thousand. You know what that means? That's a lot of freaking time shards. Ow! Seriously, need help. Now. Now two bars down. Oh. Ah. I'm gonna self attack you. Boom. Ha. Ah. I'm the ninja. I can do this. And this. Uh oh. Whoops. Oh, we did a bad there. Uh-oh. <laughs> I nailed it. <laughs> Woo! Hey, don't do stupid stuff like that. Ah! I nearly had you. Ha! Ah. Got you this time, and I got the help. Oh. <laughs> That's so... Oh! It's that warrior again, that we had in the first episode, for all I know. Oh. Hey! No! Hey, you got me again! That's not fair, dude! Ouch! <laughs> and he's gone. Why was I expecting that to be true? Because we didn't get him the first time. I, I only thought we did. Are you not dead, mage? Oh. Thanks for the help, though. Ha! Huh. Any other secrets around here? Ah, okay. No more secrets for now. Okay, this is dangerous. Hi! Yeah, I made it. Back to the fan ninja dude dude Gotcha Oh no Oh Ha That's how you do Secret Oh yes Oh I did a bad one there I have a glider Don't forget Ow No I'm gonna die again You know what I'm gonna talk this well, not that, but this. And I missed it. Yeah. Yes! That's perfect. Still have one bar of health left. Which is a predicament. Uh, okay, bats. Ha. Ah, got him. <laughs> but I still have one health. Oh, man. And we might just be... Uh, if we have a boss at the end of this level... And maybe a hard one at that... Mm, I'm gonna be screwed. I might just get help... No, wait a minute. The game gives you help before the boss every single time. So I'm actually safe on that regard. Uh-oh. No! Get the hell away from me. Oh, there's a checkpoint here. Ah. I wanna get rid of him. Wait a minute, I actually have health now. Never mind. Ah. <laughs> I feel safer already. 
Oh, a lot of the jumping dudes. I can glide as well. <laughs> yes. I mean, these seem like they're complicated, but they're simple as long as you keep the rhythm. Oh. Yeah, you see? Using the glider, I mean, whatever it's called, uh, glide in time. <laughs> and using the, the other thing. The Rattly Hook, <laughs> because that's what we call them. <laughs> the Rope Dart. Makes it easier. For everyone, especially for me. Hmm. Okay. Now, uh, oh, are we getting ready for the boss battle now? Yeah, because it gave us help. Where's the... The shopkeeper isn't here. <laughs> Can I open this? You still need to splash 40 power seals to open that. Alright, but where are you? <laughs> I know they're gonna let they're gonna let me open the cabinet, but let's try it. Oh there you are! <laughs> you piece of shit! You really thought it would be that easy. I told you already, the cabinet is off limits. But you still have to come inside to see if you do it now, do you? Please stop. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this is new. We're not doing a special edition of the cabinet rant. <laughs> oh, yes, we are. I mean it. Don't be that guy. <laughs> You're me. <being laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I got nothing. Alright. If you're hoping for something special, just give up the cabinet thing. Alright, the cool stuff is up my head. Yeah, but I still want it. Did I ever tell you about the guy who stuck, stayed late on a Friday night and started writing optional dialogues to add comedic value for those who will bother looking? <laughs> Imagine reading his ramblings. By the way, if you feel like the cabinet thing is overdone at this point, I agree. But it's totally on, <laughs> on you for keep trying to open it. I will. Seriously, you can stop this right now. I mean it. You have the power. Only you can put an end to the optional bit. <laughs> Which is good because I got things to do. <laughs> if I repeat the same thing three times, what do you think I'm... I'm <laughs> play for text. We're done here. We're done here. No, he's, gonna, he's not gonna be done. We're done here. I can't believe you all want to stop doing that. Oh, man. Like, maybe advancing the quest you're supposed to care about. I'm not gonna lie, though. When the time comes, opening that company will blow your mind. And I'm confident in saying this, even though I know you'll be expecting a surprise. <laughs> so how do you surprise someone who's expecting a surprise? With a meta plot twist, that's how. Now if you want to know what it is, move on already, I promise this is the fastest way. <laughs> You're not opening that until the script says you get, the, get to anyway. <laughs> Okay, I'll start looping back to the beginning now. You already thought it would be that easy. You already... I told you already, the cabinet is off limits. Please stop. Come on, that was a good trick. How are you still trying to open this? I knew it. I knew he wouldn't loop back. We're gonna keep doing this. Oh man, this is so fun. I thought you would give up when I looked like I was looping. <laughs> no. 
If you keep doing that, I will have to sift through a boring tirade. It will be boring and philosophical, and I'll even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. Fine. Here's some insight from Jordan the Wise for you. Life is going to come at your at you hard, so there are a few things you should know. Oh, I cannot skip this. I cannot skip this unless he says it. Most important of all is realizing that you have something to offer to the world. But in order to do that, you first need to sort yourself out, leading your ear, le lending your ear to the lessons contained in the stories of old is not a bad place to start. You see, as a human conscience, you see, as human conscience grew in knowledge, it eventually grew in arrogance. We seem to be at this point where the value of stories is lost on us all. I'm not really caring, caring about morals anymore. We are simply looking to be entertained. But their power on our subconscious is by no means hindered by our intellectual pride. Stories send a clear message to our being. And when told properly, can offer guidance in how to live our lives, impacting us in ways sometimes we sometimes don't even notice. In fact, recurring themes more often than not represent arc archetypes, 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 and contain lessons on how how to or how not to behave. Consider dragons for a moment. Fantasy stories always seem to have them hoarding treasure. Not coincidentally at all, two of the biggest innate fears in mammals are fire and reptiles. So dragons are really a metaphor representing that which you fear the most. Now, why would an immortal, fire-breathing reptile care to sleep on a pile of gold? The answer can be read between the lines. The treasure you seek is guarded by your greatest fears. And that's a lot of philosophy there. I was actually... When he said it, right now, I was actually thinking the same thing. Because if we, if we pa go, get past our fears, we may find the best treasure in the world. Not in the form of physical gold or material, it's just... I don't know. Whatever treasure to you at that point. Getting on a roller coaster and feeling the thrill of the ride rather than the fear. Don't get me wrong, the pile of gold is as much as a metaphor here as it is the mighty beast that doesn't even exist. Find your dragon and slay it, then your treasure will be revealed. This is the wisdom storytellers of old were trying to convey, only they didn't have the scientific method, a framework by which to structure arguments or even a high IQ audience. The lesson isn't any less important or relevant today, however. That's re that which you most need to discover within yourself is hidden where you least want to look. Now ask yourself. Why were you so curious about my cabinet? Are you a very conscientious person, adamant on leaving no stones unturned? Or have you not mastered your insecurities and the fear of missing out is what's really driving you at this moment? Maybe you are simply hoping to get a laugh out of some unexpected one-liner. Because I'll admit, we both. No, I could kill the mood right now and tell you about how a depressed clown once attempted to lift his mood by eating bowls of confetti. <laughs> what, I mean, what I'm getting at, as regardless of your motive, here, you have clearly demonstrated curiosity and faith that the world holds surprise for those who take an honest look. Well, while that can certainly be said about the world, it's even more true about your inner self. And whether that is scary, insightful, or encouraging depends entirely on how far you have made it on your own. On your personal growth journey, life is made of many exams, most of which will present themselves to you more than once. Betrayal, joy, illness, adventure, treason, cooperation, purpose, loneliness, work, loyalty. Words, indeed. Just like stories old and new, life has recurring themes when testing humans. The important part is not whether or not you pass each test. But that you show up, acknowledge your score, and ponder how it can inform you who, who you should become. From there, everything everything is there inside of you to help you find your own way. Who knows? The underlying meaning of the messenger story might even hit you eventually. But for now, let's get back to your adventure. Oh. Well, that achievement there means that we actually did the thing. And... 
is gonna loop back. You really thought it would be that easy? <laughs> Don't you write the comments? Okay. Please stop. Yeah, I'm stopping. Sorry. Oops. We actually did. Now, let's get to the boss killing. Because this... I mean, this looks like a... Never mind. What the hell? Is that a small guy or the tall guy? Because the middle one is probably our guy. So... <laughs> Woohoohoo! She made it! Does this mean we can do the thing? Keep your hood on, shorty. He still needs to pass the final test. Ooh, but I want to do the thing! No, no. We need to see how he... How attuned to the scroll he really is. Great. Take it away, Prophet. <clears throat> Welcome, Messenger! Please, hold the scroll aloft so that the prophecy might be fulfilled. Yay. Daddy? Say, I told you he was slow. Slow in what? I took the thing out pretty quickly. Or, oh, you, you didn't just say I was slow like that. Like in the noggin. Yeah, you weren't kidding. Oh, break it out. <clears throat> Please hold the scroll higher than that <laughs> so that the prophecy might be fulfilled. All right. Oh, look, an arrow. Shot into the sky. What's he gonna do? Open up a portal? Shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake Oh my god. What? <laughs> what is that? Is this called? Oh. It's a freaking building. Hey. He made it. Of all would be messengers. Him? Please pull this off. I really want to do the thing. <clears throat> A gauntlet awaits you, messenger. Should you survive, find us at the top of the Tower of Time. What are you gonna say? Betrayal! He doesn't say anything. He's just shocked that me, the slow guy, actually made it. There's no music, no nothing. Well, oh my god. <laughs> oh man, Tower of Time, alright, so that's the end of the level. Oh man, that bit was so funny, even funnier than the first one <laughs> with the cabinet. I know it took a long time to go read through all that, but come on guys, it's so funny. Fun. <clears throat> I think the game saved it, did it? It, it, it did, didn't it? Either way, I'm gonna cut it here. It's been a longer episode, but just because of the funny bits. <laughs> Hope you like it as much as I did, because now my voice is shot. Oops, I shouldn't do that. But anyway, <clears throat> don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're already, if you're not already. Make sure you hit that that bell at the end. Because you want to see more funny stuff like this. And, well, leave a comment. Comment. Also, there's nothing left to say. I need to get out of here. Norbert. Out. Funny Ninja.